Hi, it's Barton here from Lung and Sleep. In this video, I'm going to show you an interesting case of a young lady who had a lung abscess. So this was a 45 year old lady who was from Iran. She'd come to Australia 10 years ago, but there was no history of exposure to tuberculosis and she had not had tuberculosis herself in the past. She was a lifelong non-smoker and had no history of lung disease and was otherwise a very well lady who was a kindergarten teacher. So she presented initially to the emergency department with two weeks of an illness involving mostly cough, which was non-productive, and low-grade fever and just feeling a bit gen generally unwell. She had a chest x-ray which showed significant abnormality which raised concern. So I'll show you the chest x-ray now. This is the chest x-ray and you can see in the right mid zone is a large cavity. Here it is here, uh, situated laterally in the right upper lobe. So to characterize this further, a CT scan is required. I'll scroll through the CT for you now. These are the axial views and here's the cavity situated here. And you can see that it's quite a thick wall cavity. Uh, it's might, may have an air fluid level. There's a little bit of nodular change, possibly some ground glass surrounding it. It's situated in the right upper lobe, maybe crossing slightly into the right middle lobe. And you can see some airways here from the right upper lobe going straight towards that. So this would suggest that this could be sampled bronchoscopically with radial bus. There's a nice airway there off the posterior right upper lobe heading straight into to this lesion. Her blood tests revealed a normal white cell count and a CRP that was mildly elevated at 23. I'd probably expect these to be slightly higher and possibly for her to present with fever if this was a lung abscess. However, given her age and demographic, lung, lung abscess remains the most likely diagnosis. Tuberculosis is a real possibility and a lung cancer, although less likely, needs to be excluded. So I think that bronchoscopy with radial bus is the next investigation to perform. So I think lung abscess is the most likely diagnosis here. However, she reported no history of having reflux or vomiting. She certainly didn't drink alcohol and not, had not been unconscious for any reason. She had no dental infections. Although she did have some dental work done about six months ago where she had an implant. And about eight weeks ago, she had some revision done of that dental work. So that may be the cause for lung abscess. Anyway, I proceeded to bronchoscopy. And at bronchoscopy, the endobronchial appearance was very normal. Here you can see an image of the right upper lobe showing that the right upper lobe is normal. There is no endobronchial lesion. There's no abnormal secretions to suggest infection. The airway mucosa may have been slightly inflamed. So I used the Rady Lee bus and was able to locate the mass and I was able to get the ultrasound within the wall of the mass, as you can see in this image now. And that allowed me to take some brushings and biopsies for histopathology and also for culture. These biopsies came back showing inflammatory cells with no sign of malignancy. There was no granulomas and the culture returned some anaerobic infection, some neutrophils, but was not able to identify any particular bacteria and the acid fast bacillus uh, culture was negative, suggesting that this was not tuberculosis. So I think that this was uh, consistent with the lung abscess. Now, Given that she was currently feeling quite well, her cough had mostly resolved and she was not febrile, I elected not to treat her with antibiotics. I was confident that we had the diagnosis correct, but ensuring the resolution was going to be the most important next step. And I feel that given that she had no sign of infection systemically, she was not unwell, there was no sign of unusual infections that needed specific treatment such as tuberculosis. I allowed her to get better herself uh, and given that she has a well intact immune system she should be able to recover from this. So then I decided to repeat a chest x-ray after a few weeks just to ensure that things were improving. And here's the chest x-ray. So here's the repeat chest x-ray after four weeks and 
she shows significant improvement. So you can see some abnormality here, but it's really reduced in size and started to contract down. And if you compare that to the initial chest x-ray, where you can see the cavity is quite obvious there, we can see that there's significant improvement and that's very encouraging that she will completely resolve this. So there you go, a really interesting case of a lung abscess. I hope you liked that and found it interesting as well. If you did, please like my video. I'd love you to leave comments and subscribe to my channel because I've got heaps of more videos uh, ready to go that I'll be uploading shortly. Okay, thanks for that and see you later.